might be another marathon. This is because it really takes it all out of me. Come on. to get ready shower always shower before race a bit nervous didn't get very much or any sleep <laughs> but I wasn't expecting to so you just accept that you're not gonna get much sleep on race race day and uh, yeah let's see what I can do in Valencia <laughs> Six, I'm ready. I've got my race kit on underneath a warmer layer, which I'll put in my bag before I drop it. I'm excited. I'm glad that the race is nearly here because I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty, pretty nervous. Um, but as long as I stick to the game plan, then I should be happy with the results. Just focus on the process and the result will take care of itself. So yeah, let's go race a marathon. Is there anything better than the walk to a marathon start line in the dark with all the nerves brimming in your body? Oh, I love it. Right then, let's remember the three rules. Number one, be patient. Number two, don't be greedy. And number three, stay positive. Positive mindset, battling through the tough times. That's what it takes today. The training's done. This is the celebration. Love race day. Um, yeah. And I guess the fourth one for me, and it probably is for everyone, is to not worry what other people are thinking. Like, we can get so bogged, on, bogged down on like, oh, how does this look and all this, being judged. It's really important just to focus on my race, on my game plan, and just try and execute the best I can. It started spitting. It rains here. What? They said it never rains. But uh, yeah, I think it'll hold off. But a little bit of rain. But actually, the conditions feel perfect. I can't feel any wind. It's nice and cold, but obviously, it's like 7 o'clock now. And yeah, I'm at maybe the start area. I need to find out where the bag drop is. As soon as I know where bag drop is, I feel, I feel comfortable. But until I know where bag drop is, I'm always a bit, a bit on edge. So yeah, let's find that and let's get going. Found bag drop, we're sorted. I literally nearly fell in that hole. My ankle nearly went. What a, what a disaster that would have been. Right, I guess it's time for me to put the camera away, strip down, do my warm up, and yeah, get my race head on. Um, I've loved this block, and I'm really excited to test it now, have fun racing. It's I was gonna say it's what I do best. It's probably not what I do best, but what I do love. So it's good to be back in a marathon. Yeah, just excited to get going. Look what I found. Jerry, Ben. Hello. Crew. Ready to rock. Everyone's just getting gathered behind us. Oh, there's Matt over there as well. Mr. Matt Fox. Where is he? Oh, yeah. Let me chat with him. Yeah. Feeling Ready good? Go. Yeah, feeling good. Right at the start line, found Matt Fox as well. So, yeah, we'll be going in about 10 15 minutes. You made the vlog! Get me in there, find me! Have a great race, mate. I love them. Music pumping. Everyone's ready. Oh, let's do this, Valencia, let's go! Porque hoy, ya sabéis, los sueños, yeah! 
oportunidad para que hoy... records for fun. Matt Reese there I can see with the Swansea Harrier vest. So uh, I think that's, uh, that's going to be a lifetime vest for Matt. So uh, lots of athletes. I think that's one of the Canadian athletes. Car on there. So people have travelled far and wide, mostly out of their own pocket for a lot of them to come here and experience it and uh, run lifetime best here. Phenomenal performances and uh, there you go, that Thank is uh, Larry. I remember a few years ago, he was the athlete that uh, helped the London Marathon finisher that uh, was uh, in distress and uh, today he can celebrate a lifetime best as well as a whole host of athletes before and after him. until 32k and then my quads were done and I thought my race was over. <laughs> God, why am I always so emotional at the end of the marathon? This is because it really takes it all out of me. Come on. thought my quads were done. I just had to push and just pretend that pain was a good thing and that my legs could keep going. I can't believe it. Gracias, gracias. Hola, hola. Gracias. 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 
is it finally executed one? Oh god, that last 10k was so hard. Unbelievable. My quads were done. Was he? What did he say? Ah. <laughs> Can't believe it. I am so, so, so happy with that. Oh, that was an absolute battle. I'll talk through the race in a bit. Just phone Kelly. Got emotional again. Um, Marathons are just so brutal, but what a race. And I'm just so happy to finally execute one the way I wanted it to go. Oh, Valencia, vamos! So I've already told Kelly I love her, but I want to publicly say that I can't do that without her. The support she gives me in all aspects of life is just incredible. It's, there's no words for it really. It's amazing, and the pep talk she gave me yesterday I hadn't been feeling well for the last couple of days. I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want the negativity, but it was really getting me down. But her support. So I'm back in the UK. I didn't film any more on race day. I was absolutely wiped and just needed to recover, relax, have a few beers and just soak it all in. But I'm back. I'm still on a massive high. And yeah, I ran two hours, 24 minutes and 19 seconds chip time, which, is unreal, it's over five minutes PB. If you don't know my history, I first ran a two hours and 29 minute marathon back in 2016. And for six years, I've been trying to take a big chunk off and it finally clicked. It just shows that persistence and consistency and just believing in yourself, but just taking shots even when you keep missing, it pays off in the end. And it was just such a good day. I've got loads to say, I wanna break down the race. But I'm going to do that in a separate vlog because there's so much to go through. Uh, all the splits, how I was feeling, how the race panned out. So look out for the next vlog. But I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for all your amazing support. The whole training block. Not just this training block, other training blocks as well. I'll announce the winner of the prediction contest in the next video as well. And yeah, I'm just over the moon, delighted. I loved Valencia. I love the marathon. Even though it's so cruel, when you get it right, it just feels amazing. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.